So, what do you think of the role of uh, China in the uh, during the process of uh, the, glo- the the global investment recovery? Well, China um, has uh, begun to uh, to do outward investment uh, in a in a big way and involve uh, a lot of countries and a lot of activities. And China can help by uh, trying to concentrate in areas that. Uh, Countries uh, like those in Africa can can make use of. You see, China has uh, long and uh, very valuable experiences in manufacturing sector development, uh, processing industry, uh, and, and Africa is very badly in need of uh, processing industry. So, if China uh, can sometime move some of uh, its industries in, into into areas in, uh, in, uh, in, in Africa to help, particularly I, I, I would like to emphasize the areas of processing. Because Africa has been for so long, and as much as we worked on African issues, we seem not to be able to crack these issues of excessive dependence on commodities for Africa. Yeah. So, so I think China should, should bring in some new elements uh, of you know, experience in China and the way that China's market will be needing some products, you know, where 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 uh, uh, production costs would be lower, because you have to admit that production costs in China are also rising. We have talked a, a, a lot about the uh, China's foreign uh, uh, overseas investment, so mm-hmm. let's shift to the uh, China's foreign direct investment, mm-hmm. because uh, during the past few months, more, more and more foreign businesses are criticizing China's. Uh, foreign in, uh, investment environment. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think of that? Do you agree on that? Well, uh, I, I, I'm not so sure about the kind of criticism that uh, foreign investors are making in China because they have choices. If they don't feel comfortable in coming to China, I think they can go somewhere else. Yeah. And uh, I don't think China uh, is badly in need of uh, you know huge investment. China should be selective. China should be selective in the way that foreign investment can do to Chinese economy. If foreign investment could not add value to Chinese economy, then, uh, then if I were Chinese policymaker, I would say, well, we, we thank you, but uh, you know, we, we can do with our own domestic uh, uh, investment. So I am not really uh, very familiar with the, the criticism, but if it's because of the fact that China is trying to reorient itself towards more technology-based industry, then I think it's just, just quite logical that China will have to work with companies that would come with technology. Uh, and, and as you can see, some of the newly grown technologies are, are not derived from advanced economy. They are being done here in China, in Asia, in many countries. I've been told by WIPO people that the new registrations of uh, of, uh, of patents, rights, uh, innovations are forthcoming from, from Asia and mainly from China. So you can see that uh, it, it's, it's something that, that, that China can, can also contribute. And, and if, if foreign investors uh, are, are not very comfortable, well, of course, China will have to take into account and uh, try to improve its own performance, which I think China is doing. But uh, at the same time, China must, must be, uh, I think, quite specific in the way it addresses uh, uh, incoming, incoming uh, uh, inflows of, of, of investments. And I think this is just uh, that China has matured into a more uh, uh, you know, technology-based, knowledge-based economy. Yeah, during an interview yesterday with uh, China's Commerce Minister Chen Deming, he said that China ex- is expected to harass a new wave of uh, foreign investment in the next two to three years. So uh, do you agree on that? Oh, well, I think I heard him say this during our meeting also that China, in spite of its own uh, performance, China will still need new investment inflow, not because of the funds, what he said, not because of the capital, but because of the linkages with the uh, international economy and because of the technology ingredients. That's what he said. I mean, so it's, it's an obvious fact that uh, not only China, but many countries in Asia, East Asia and Southeast Asia, they're doing the same thing. I can tell you, if you go to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, uh, Philippines, I think they're all trying to mobilize uh, technology-related 
uh, investment. And in fact, in, in, in some of our reports at Angkat, we just you know, spell out that, that uh, you have to target uh, your investment. You, just not, you will not go for any investment uh, by just looking at the amount of money. China doesn't need that. Uh, I don't know do any countries in Asia, in East Asia, need that. But they need targeted investment that will help to strengthen their economic structure and their competitiveness. And that is, that is logical. And if, if investment investors from abroad cannot, you know, I, I think uh, in the future, Asia may also need to take better care of Asian-owned domestic investors. I think sometimes when we talk about international investment, uh, we tend to overlook the role and importance of domestic investors. And uh, domestic investors sometimes can grow their own innovation technology, uh, can be very competitive if supported somewhat by, by the government or, you know, guided by the government. I think and that is something that we should do more also. Uh, recently, the United States is launching more uh, trade remedy cases against China. Yes. And uh, do you have any concerns that the trade frictions between China and the, Uni the United States will grow? Well, I, I think uh, both countries are now doing their best effort to, uh, to try to prevent uh, any uh, trade remedial cases. Uh, but my, my concern is that because of the uh, recovery process and the withdrawal of, uh, of the uh, financial stimulus measures, that companies around the world will be clamoring for more uh, uh, government intervention uh, to protect them. Yeah? You see, when the government withhold or withdraws their protection, they, they would need protection in the trade area. So I think you can more or less expect some, uh, some of the, uh, the trade frictions to, to rise. Uh, but I certainly would like to, to recommend uh, that countries try to avoid this, try to avoid this, because uh, we need to create goodwill now uh, to be able to add impetus to the recovery process. And then the recovery process could only be held when countries stay away from doing trade restriction measures. Besides, the Doha negotiation should be moved forward. And Doha could be moved forward only when countries have goodwill and, and not, not engage in some of the friction, you know, disputes and things like that. Yeah.